So Mahoney, Murphy, and Hutchinson is not a law firm. They are the starting attack for this young man here, the St. Lawrence Saints head coach, Mark Mahoney. And i I, I got to ask you about those guys because they accounted for nine of the 14 goals today as you guys beat Lynchburg 14-5. Uh, to 5. Yeah, I think that group has tremendous chemistry. They're very unselfish. Uh, I think when you watch our offense at its best, it's when the ball's moving and, and they're all there for each other and happy as, as much to get the assist as they are the goal or even the, the hockey assist and really proud of how they played as a as a complete unit. And while those three did play great as a complete unit, I think we have to really mention that defense today, both in goal, Marinello, and the defense in front of him. You held Lynchburg without a goal for about 35 minutes in the game. Uh, just talk a little bit about that smothering defense. Yeah, I mean, I, I think our last time out, we weren't really pleased with our defensive effort, and uh, that's been kind of a challenge to the team uh, in preparation for this game. I thought, again, they were they were unselfish as far as helping playing team defense. As it wasn't one guy. You know, I did think it was a little bit of a coming out uh, party for uh, Mike Marinello. You know, I, I thought he played very confidently and made some key saves for us when the game was when it was tight. You know, when it got to four three, and and uh, they had some pressure, we made some big saves and. Uh, but as a defensive unit, I was I, I thought we played fast. I thought we played physical, and, and that's what we're looking for. So Lynchburg cut it to 4-3 to three early in the second quarter, about four minutes in. You guys got a goal a little later. It was 5-3. Play was back and forth. Key part of the game, last minute, first half, two goals, back-to-back -back within about 20 seconds. Stretch the lead to 7-3. What, what were your thoughts there? Yeah, we had, uh, you know, we had – I can't remember. I think Ben Hutchinson went to the goal there for, for one of them, and then they called the penalty, um, and then we got one quickly on the extra man, and then I think we got another one coming out of the out of the break on the extra man as well. And, uh, you know, so obviously 5-3 to 7-3 at the half is is a bit of a psychological advantage, and, and we were able to carry that momentum into the uh, third quarter and, and the entire second half. So everybody's back-to-back -back in this tournament. you got to turn around real quickly, Bates, tomorrow afternoon. 115 or 130. Um, what do you tell your team? What do you try to accomplish in the next 24 hours? Yeah, I mean, the the one thing is I told them we can enjoy this, you know, basically until dinner, and then yeah. it's we've got to shift gears and, and get ready for you know a Bates team coming out of the NESCAC that um, you know is, is going to be a very tough opponent for us, and uh, we've got to be ready to go. And, and the reason why we we're, we're so happy to be in this tournament is if we're fortunate enough to to play in May, this is the way the NCAA tournament is set up. Up and not to look too far down the road, but at least we'll have been tested, you know, if we're fortunate enough to be there at some point uh, down the road. Well, the good news about Owings Mills is if you're going to celebrate through dinner, you got a lot of great restaurants in town. So congratulations on the big win, and we'll Perfect. see you tomorrow. Perfect. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone out there, too. 14-5, big win for St. Lawrence today.